So when should you conduct a data protection impact assessment, uh, DPIA? Well, the DPIA should be conducted before the processing and should be considered as a living tool, not merely as a one-off exercise. So where there are residual risks that can be mitigated by the measures put in place, the DPA must be consulted prior to the start of the processing. So under Article 35.2 GDPR, it is necessary for any controller with a designated data protection officer, DPO, to seek the advice of the DPO when carrying out a DPIA. And this advice and the decisions taken should be documented as a part of the DPIA process. Data Protection Impact Assessment, which is the DPIA, is describing the process that identifies the risks arising out of the processing of personal data and to minimize these risks as far and as early as possible. And DPIAs are important tools for negating risks and for demonstrating compliance with the GDPR. And PIA, PII, Personal Identifiable Information, is any data that can be used to clearly identify an individual. And some examples that have been traditionally considered personally identifiable information include things like national insurance numbers, your mailing address, you know, your email or your phone numbers. And conducting a DPIA is a legal requirement for any type of processing, including certain specified types of processing that are likely to result in a high risk to the rights and freedoms of individuals. And a privacy impact assessment, which is the PIA, is all about analyzing how an entity collects and uses, shares, and maintains personal identifiable information, and this relating to re existing risks. And the data impact assessment, it's all about, you know, identifying and minimizing the risks that are associated with the processing of personal data. And the impact assessment is required under the GDPR any time that you begin a new project that is likely to involve a high risk to other people's personal information. And if we look at Article 35, it requires the controller to carry out the data protection impact assessment, the DPIA, when a certain processing operation or a set of operations with similar characteristics presents a high risk for the rights and freedoms of any natural persons. And it's ultimately the responsibility of the employer as a data controller to conduct a DPIA though this must be done in consultation with the data protection officer, the DPO, that's if the organization has appointed one. And basically, a data protection impact assessment must always be conducted when the processing could result in a high risk to the rights of natural persons, as we said, and the assessment must be carried out, especially if one of the rule examples set forth in Art 35.3 is relevant. And it's very straightforward in saying that any entity that collects or processes personal data from residents of the EU must be compliant with the GDPR. And it requires you to safely store and document each valid consent. Well, the German Federal Data Protection Authority is the National Data Protection Authority for Germany. And it's, however, only in charge of the federal government authorities and private telecoms and postal services. So under the GDPR, PIA is required. I mean, it's beneficial to consider PIA in the project life cycle from beginning to end to identify privacy risk as early as possible and before the project goes into production or is set out to be released. And so on, the ROPA refers to a requirement laid out in Article 30 of the General Data Protection Regulation, which states in part, that a controller must maintain a record of processing activities under its responsibility, including all categories of processing. So the PIA is a decision tool that's used to identify and mitigate privacy risks that notifies the public what personal identifiable information, PIII, is available. And any organization processing personal data should have a valid legal basis for that processing activity. So the law provides six legal bases for processing. One is consent. Another one is performance of a contract, a legitimate interest, a vital interest, a legal requirement, and a public interest. And if we look at Article 32 of the GDPR, it sets out the technical and organizational measures that organizations should implement 
to protect the personal data that they're storing. And the CIA triad refers to the information security model made up of the three main components, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. That's the CIA. And in closing, what is a privacy impact assessment, which is a PIA? It's a systematic assessment of a project that identifies the impact that the project might have on the privacy of individuals. And it sets out recommendations for managing, minimizing, or eliminating that impact. Well, that brings us to the end. Thank you for listening. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.